morning everybody this is our project for today we have the rgn which is the removable gooseneck as soon as i get the okay that i can load here i'm going to disconnect the gooseneck from the trailer and load up that machine over there take it to china we're in la salle manitoba it's a little windy here i apologize if there's any wind noise we're in la salle manitoba we're going to take it six to seven hours west of here to Regina, Saskatchewan, the next province over. So we're just north of North Dakota in today's video, just to give you reference. So for those of you who are new, I'm Trucker Josh. I make daily videos of my life, both on and off the road here on my channel. I've been doing it since 2011. I have this series I'm working on right now cataloged in my playlists all the way back to 2014. There's videos and playlists from before that as well. Go check them out subscribe and tell me that you're new down below in the comment section and everyone else will come and welcome you so not this little thing this roller this is what we're loading up when we get it running here we're going to turn it around we're going to probably back it onto the trailer since the engine is behind the cab that way it'll put the weight on the triaxle i don't want to be overweight on my drives this thing weighs, I believe, about 27, 28,000 pounds, so I'm not too worried about being overweight, but I just have to make sure the weight is distributed properly across my whole unit. go the trailer is ready to be loaded and that's what we mean by removable gooseneck just stays on the truck and like I was explaining yesterday this thing is supported by this here and I put this 4x4 across here so that the weight of this thing sits on my frame and not on this little thing here that's not made to hold that much weight but like this that is good to go and I drove perfectly straightforward. So once it's time to hook back up, I just follow my tracks, I hook right back up, put those two O-rings, line them up with those, I guess what you would call them is big nipples over there. And there's a pin in here that locks down, that's powered by a gas motor. Those two eye holes I was talking about slip right over these. I don't know what else to call them other than big nipples. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the guy who's going to load me to get here. He's going to get in that machine, throw it on there. I'll hook back up and I'll chain it all down and we'll be on our way. Might be the hard part getting this thing up here. All right, we got some dunnage beneath there now. Should be enough. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so it took a little bit, but uh, we got her tied down. Let me know what you think. So we got the front here crisscrossed holding it from going back, right? Holding it forward. Then we've got one chain on this side, one chain on that side there, holding it in the opposite direction. Now on the back here, we did the same thing. We got a chain here, a chain on the other side doing the same thing, and a crisscross chain in the center here, holding this thing in place. So the crisscross keeps the tractor or the unit from moving side to side these put pressure forward these are also holding it back we'll go around to the other side and 
same thing at the front. See, at first I put one chain all the way from the bottom over there, through here, and down to here. I switched that up, I added another chain, one from here, one to there to crisscross it. That holds it from going side to side, as well as holds it from going back. And you know, if I hit the brakes, these chains here hold it from moving forward on me, as well as that one on the back I had crisscrossed. So, grab all my equipment off of here, and we'll hit the road. I'm ready to go. So what do you guys think? I think it's a pretty good looking load. I'd be proud to pull that down the road. One thing that took a little bit of extra time and why it took me so long was, for some reason, some manufacturers that build these machines, they build these holes a little too small. My hooks on my chains can't fit through there, so I have to remove the hook off every chain to slip the chain through there and then reattach the hook to the end of the chain. And these things are a little rusty and they didn't really want to move that well. Each and every one of them I had to do that because the hooks don't fit through the anchor points. So if you're a engineer designing these things, make those holes a little bit bigger, please. That would have saved me a lot of time and effort. Same thing back here. These anchor points were too small to get my hooks through, so I had to remove them. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, I made it work. Just took a little bit extra time. So yeah. There's a tag on the other side here that tells me how heavy this thing is. It's a little bit windy, sorry. My camera's probably catching, my camera's probably catching all that wind noise, right? I'm trying to keep you out of the wind. So over here it says this thing, uh, basic weight 10,665 kilograms, operating weight 10,880 kilograms, that's what we'll go with. The thing was uh, obviously made in Germany because it wasn't in English and French on the uh, manual on the side there, it was in English and German. So, what is 10,880 kilograms in pounds? 23,986 pounds. So 24,000 pounds. What about for oh, construction coming up. That's fun. There's also a rest area coming up. It's right around the same part of when the construction starts. Well, all the way down to 60 kilometers an hour. That's like 38 miles an hour. All the way down there. That's how far you want us to go. Okay, I can. Okay. All right, I can do that. I can do that. You know, I'm not paid by the hour. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Okay, so I see there's construction vehicles in the rest area driveway up ahead there. Well, and in the rest area. Did they close the rest area too? They did. They blocked off the whole rest area. I really got to go to the bathroom, guys. It's not an actual rest area. It's just a parking, parking area. Why would they park all their construction vehicles in there when they're working on the median over here? Blocking that whole area off so we can't use it. Well, now what am I going to do? My bladder says it's time to stop. Oh, wait, no, we can still get in there. No, I can't because I got a trailer and this guy's parked right in the end of the driveway. Wait, I guess I could have. Yeah, I could have still gotten in. Ah, oh, why didn't I go in? Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. I judged too soon. You shouldn't judge, Trucker Jack. I'm sorry, construction crew. You did nothing wrong. It just looked like you were blocking it off. They did nothing wrong. Okay, they left. I could have gone in. But by the time I saw it, I was already rolling past. That's what I get. That's what I get for going them out like that. Oh, man. So I'm nearing Brandon, Manitoba on my way west. We're going to get unloaded today yet, which is awesome. The receiver who's uh, accepting this roller packer thing I got on my trailer is still going to be there when we get there. So we'll get unloaded and we'll get back probably to work 
late tonight yet. Depending on how late I want to drive, but I might be able to make it back. The number one economy, uh, economy like per capita in the world. And these are real people. These are Koreans just like you. And he says, you and me together, we can turn North Korea into this in 10 years. Imagine your economy doing these kind of numbers. Imagine the money you'd be making. You'd be making hundreds of millions a year just on business. You don't have to take control over people and weaponize the government. You can live a better life than that, just like South Korea. Well, we've made it. And we're getting unloaded same day. I'll be able to make it back today, as long as we don't take more than like two hours here, which we shouldn't, but we'll see. We'll see how far I want to drive later too. So the machine is still there. That's, that's a fantastic sign. I love it when my freight arrives with me at my destination. It's always the best. Everything looks good. Nothing has moved. I checked it a couple of times on the way here too, but I always like to walk around anyways, take video or pictures of it when I arrive before I unload. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this gooseneck again, get that off of here, get all the chains off there, get my tarps and stuff out of the way, and we're going to roll it just right off here for them. Then I'm going to go home. I don't know if I'll make it all the way back. I mean, I would only be back at our yard at like one in the morning, but we'll see. Let's see how far I get. I've got all the chains off the back already. Just got to get these off the front and detach the trailer there and then we can drive this thing right off. Got to be careful with these bear traps. They, uh, they can be dangerous. I like to live life on the edge. A lot of people. See, this is what I mean, meant before. I like this. Hook won't go through there. So you can remove the chain or remove the hook on every single one to get it through there. And before these were so rusted together already, it was actually pretty hard to do. lubed it up a little bit with a bit of bullstone greasable that's probably what I should do but for time's sake right now I'm just trying to get it in get this done so that we can get this unloaded and I can start headed back home okay so two more chains just up here at the front And every single one I have to remove the hook. So I've got two more hooks to do. And it's not that bad. It's a lot easier now. I didn't film it before when I was trying to put it together. Alright. Come on. Oops, I guess I need to take the safety off, right? That would help. This one's at a bit of an odd angle. I might have to uh Oh no, I got it. There it goes. Thought I might have to go get my bar. Get the leverage. Nope. Old fashioned muscles work just fine. I'll put that down there for now. Alright, so again, we gotta take this hook off of here. out of here. I'm going to worry about cleaning up all my equipment once we have the machine off the trailer. Right now I'm trying to get it unloaded for them as fast as possible. So we are nearing the end of the day. I rolled in here at 4.30 local time which is 5.30 back home but we're in mountain time now. Go. They're running. 
Okay. So I'll do the same thing with this here. And we'll get this thing unloaded. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, he's got it running. He's driving it off. Officially empty and unloaded. Job complete. Now I just have to reattach this, put away all my equipment, get out of their yard, and then go home. And of course, we can't forget to get the paperwork signed. I need a BOL and proof of delivery. So out comes my fancy, fancy little folder that makes me look so important again. I'm gonna go get this paperwork signed so they know I brought it here and didn't put it in my backyard. Then clean everything up, then we can go. All right, so that took one hour, one minute. <sighs> Let's get out of here. <sighs> Gotta go change. I wanna get out of their yard and then go clean myself up somewhere. Okay. So we're gonna do a little tug test on this trailer. I'm sure it's not gonna come up. Like we're good. Whew. You see that sweat glistening off my arms there? Whew. Hopefully, I can get around this way. Oh, yeah. Right out the gate, right over there. Whew. It's good for you sweating like this, sweat all the toxins out. I'm just gonna park on the street up here and put on a new pair of clothes for the third time today. Anybody coming over there? Nope. See you guys in a little bit. Catch my breath, I'm literally running. It's a good workout. If you can see it or not left the rgn trailer over there because somebody was parked in its regular spot back there so that's where it is and there's blue i'm hooked up to a trailer ready to go tomorrow if they got something for me if not then i'll get the trailer ready to go monday for monday morning and we'll head home but first i need to go to sleep it's late, and I'm tired. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everyone. I hope to see you back here tomorrow.